I'm Mary Hatcher Steers, and I'm a chemistry professor in the Keck Science Department. In the classroom, everything works. Everything, you know, follows. They're learning stuff that's already known, and often the problem sets have a right answer, and the labs work because we have to do it in four hours. So in the research lab, it's a place where you can ask a question that hasn't been answered and think about how to solve that. And so it's teaching students to think big picture and to have creative ideas and to kind of learn that sometimes research is frustrating. It doesn't work. You have this great idea and you try it and it doesn't work. And how do you work through that frustration? And scientifically that's important because it teaches you how to think and how to evolve with your questions. But in life that's important. Um, and then I really enjoy being able to do research with students. So working here gives me the opportunity not only to teach in a small classroom setting, but it allows me to work closely in a research lab with students who are engaged and interested and get some real science done. The other thing I think we have that is really, really good is that we have dedicated research funds for students to spend their summer here, and it doesn't have to be juniors and seniors. We have funding specific for first years and sophomores, and rarely at any institution can you have one year of general chemistry and get to work in the general chemistry lab, and we do that here quite regularly. But because we're three colleges and we have three colleges investing in the program, we have more resources than a typical liberal arts college. And we have also the consortium, so we have Pomona and Harvey Mudd. All of these connections are really important, and we're uniquely situated to take up these new ideas and move forward because our faculty are used to working together. And that's really unusual. At most schools, they're in their own isolated spaces and they don't work together in that way, and it's a lot harder to create that interdisciplinary education.